hello everyone this is second lecture related to clinographic projection in this lecture i will cover the preparation and drawing of the axis which was covered in the lecture one and we will revise to draw perpendicular bisector of a line and determination of the midpoint of a line without measuring it using only compass so for this lecture again you need a scale compass pencil eraser and a piece of paper now get ready with the items take a scale and draw a vertical line horizontal line or inclined line any kind but it should be a straight line so put the compass at one end and mark the arc the length of the arc should be more than the half of the length of the line so these two arc from the top end of the vertical line another one is from the bottom of the end of the line now we get two intersection points in left side one and another is right side this one is the left side intersection point and this is the right side intersection point by the arcs so the join these two points join these two point you will get a line which which is perpendicular to line AB and dividing it in two equal halves. That's why it is called bisector. So this is the procedure to construct a bisector, perpendicular bisector of a line. So this point is the midpoint of the line first any or the red line okay so remember the procedure because we are going to use the bisect perpendicular bisector or determ uh, determination of the midpoints in coming lectures because our uh, scale which you are using in that scale also the list count is 1.1 inch Suppose you uh, length of the line is 4.5 and half of this will be 2.25 but through scale we can only measure the 2.2 so it is better to determine the midpoint using the compass only. Now get ready for the drawing of the axis of the cube. For this, first draw a line straight and vertical and length of the line should be 6 inch. Second, determine the midpoint of the line that is axis A3 that is midpoint is 3 inch from top or bottom you can take and from midpoint draw an arc of 92 degree and the another line passing through the midpoint at angle of 92 degree this line is A2 axis of the cubic system now draw another line which is making angle of 22 degree from the A2 axis that will be the axis A1 so length R for A3 6 inch for A2 5.4 inch and A1 2 inch so 1.1 1 .1 ratio to 2.7 ratio to 3 now here 2 
5.4 and 6 is also the same. This procedure of drawing axis will be repeated for the all crystal of the cubic systems. So, in coming lectures, I will not going to tell you how we, we will draw the axis. You have to draw it before starting the coming lectures. Thank you.